there is a particular audience for these type of films, but I hate to say it, I'm just not in that crowd. Nonetheless, I'm going to do my best to get into this review for you all of the film Tin Can. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film 10 can which made its North American premiere this year at Fantasia Film Festival 2021. Now the reason why I don't like this film is because quite frankly this film it made me feel claustrophobic. It made me feel grossed out. It even made me feel dizzy at times and it is a pure B movie. It absolutely feels like a low-budget film, but that's by design with this type of film, and there is an audience for that, and especially when it deals with horror, because it totally channels a lot of different films from from uh, in the past. So, like, there is a cult following and base for these type of films, but it just has never been my thing. So the question is, why did I check it out? Because I'm always interested in checking out a new film, especially with a premise like this. That was kind of interesting. Uh, so before I even get into any of that, I'll say that this film was not enjoyable for me because of personal feelings. <laughs> like, it was really hard to get through some scenes because of the claustrophobic that, and, and being grossed out and just, oh, I, I had to side eye a lot of this film. Like I was kind of watching it with one eye open at time um, and all sorts of this other things. But like, yes, nonetheless, if this seems like a type of film that you like, then by all means, check it out. Don't let me deter you because this isn't my cup of tea. But you have this fungal infection by the name of Coral, which is going across Eastern Canada and soon all over the world. And you have somebody working on this uh, because it's like a strange light form. Tell me if you heard this before, right? But then she was brutally kidnapped. <laughs> then she was incubated and weak and she wakes up in this life suspension chamber, which this scene right here, I was just <laughs> like for real. Um, and now she's trying to figure out where she's at. She's trying to regain some strength, her consciousness, and also realizing that she's also not the only one in this situation. So, this premise alone sounds like something else you've seen. Like, somebody waking up in a life chamber, don't know where they're at. There was a movie on Netflix not too long ago where somebody was in space doing something like that and whatnot. But yeah, this is sort of the same case, except now there's also something else around this. And there's also other people um, involved in the same scenario. Where uh, some people are acceptable of it and some people are like, uh, no, get me out of here. But the most odd thing about all of this is that there's also this twisted love revenge story intertwined with this. And yeah, but things are very graphic. Um, the So by all means, when it comes down to the, F, the uh, special effects crew and costume and makeup, they got their money's worth. I thought that was done good for what it needed to look like for this film. So like... You know, there's times where they try to make it really practical, and then there's times where they're just like, well, we want it to look like it's something that you haven't seen before, but at the same time, also imply that, like, we, 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 we've we done work here. Like, the old school way, you know what I mean? We're, we're, when back in the day, we're the best it could be, but now when you look back at it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's not all that great. You know what I mean? That that's what That's what I'm trying to say. So, to that note, they did a fantastic job because it pays homage to all of the old school makeup and costume design artists of B movies back in the day. So that right there is where by all means a plus. Now there was some cool visuals and whatnot, but I do say that some of them truly are trippy and some of them kind of made me dizzy. Some lens, uh, some light flaring and some type of like, um, when they're doing some type of like flashback scenes and all sorts of little things that some of them kind of caught me off guard because most of this film is kind of low light, but then at times they do do some flashbacks with like bright neon colors or whatnot. So it kind of catches off guard just a little bit. But again, the visuals I thought was good. Just I'm struggling through some of this. Um, and, 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 and I did my best to ultimately invest into the plot, but Again, half the time I was kind of side-eyed, like what was going on. 
Um, this film was much longer than I had wanted it to be. Like, much longer. And I guess because it was broken into two parts, but I also still don't think that should have mattered. I think a lot of this still could have been a, a, accomplished if a lot of the runtime was cut down. Especially for me, who was trying to just get through this. But overall, I thought that the film, for its target audience, for what it wanted to do, it did a good job. By all means, I don't think it tried to step outside of its playground at all. I think it stayed, it knew exactly what it wanted to do, what it wanted to be, and it executed well. So, that being said, this is by all means a film that if it's your cup of tea, then you go for it. If it's not, then you may be feeling like me to a point where it's like, well, I don't really get the, the, the purpose of this film. I get, like, what the plot was, but I also don't get, like why some of the events happened the way it did but also if you take away that and you just appreciate it for what was happening in regards to um just the atmosphere chilling grossness vibes that it was giving then you i think you you will appreciate it a lot different than i did but nonetheless folks this is tin can it made its north american premiere at fantasia film festival if you've checked it out let me know your thoughts i'm very curious i want to hear actually somebody who saw this in a different light than I did. Uh, again, it's not that I did not appreciate this film, because I definitely appreciate for this film, for what it wanted to accomplish, for the playground that it played in, and for its target audience. But for me, it just wasn't for me, and as I stated in the very beginning, so I just want to be very honest about that. But yeah, totally let me know uh, your thoughts about this film if you checked it out. And as always, folks, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.